so hello everyone today we have uh, a lengthy video so we are going to learn about aws 40 services so if you are preparing for aws cloud practitioner examination this will be a, a short and sweet a summary for you to know about some top 40 services this will help you to know about something about each services so you can answer the questions in your examination so let's proceed into this video so we'll be seeing like 40 services with definitions key features and use cases the first service is amazon ec2 so here is the definition this is a scalable virtual server in the cloud so you'll have like uh, key features of elastic compute capacity multiple instances types and you can do auto scaling using this then here is the use case uh, you can use this to host a scalable web application or a backend system so here is the second service that is amazon s3 so here is the definition that is object storage service for any amount of data and here is the key features that is this is a durable storage where you can do versioning and also you will have bucket policies so the use case here is you can uh, use this for storing backup data and static website hosting so here is the third service that is amazon rds and the definition for this service is this is a managed relational database service the key features here is automated backups multi availability zone deployment and then read replicas the use case here is you can run the production database like mysql or postgrel sql so here is the fourth service that is aws lambda and the definition and the definition for this service is you can run code without provisioning servers so the key features here is this is event driven it is auto scalable and then uh, you can uh, pay per use then the use case here is you can execute the backend logic in a response to api gateway or s3 events so here is the fifth service that is amazon vpc so the definition for this amazon vpc is this is a isolated network uh, environment within aws and then the key features for this service is this has custom ip ranges subnets and security groups here is the use case you can use this for hosting web application with the enhanced network security here is the sixth service that is amazon cloudfront the definition for this amazon cloudfront is this is a global content delivery network and then the key features of this amazon cloudfront is this has low latency edge locations and https so the use case here is you can do website or app acceleration here is the seventh service that is amazon route 53 the definition for this is this is a scalable dns and domain registration so then the key features for this is you can do domain routing health checks and latency based routing so the use case here is reliable domain management so the eighth service is aws iam and the definition for this uh, iam is you can manage users and permissions securely and the key features here is you can set user policies mfa and role based access mfa is multi factor authentication then the use case here is you can control the access to aws resources here is the ninth service that is aws cloud formation so then the definition for this aws cloud formation is this is a template based infrastructure provisioning the key features are declarative config stacks and repeatable environment so the use case here is here you can automate the infrastructure setup here is the 10th uh, service that is aws elastic beanstalk and the definition here is this is a platform as a service for web applications the key features here is this will be helped in manage deployments auto scaling support multi languages too so then the use case here is you can uh, quickly uh, launch a web app here is the 11th service that is amazon sqs 
so the definition here is uh, this is a managed message queue service the key features are a synchronized processing decoupled apps and fifo queues fifo is first in first out queues so then the use case here is you can queue for background task here is the 12th service that is amazon sns so the definition here is you can push notification and pop or sub the service so then the key features here is it is topic based multiple protocols and scalable messaging so the use case here is you can send alerts or app notifications here is the 13th service that is amazon dynamo db so then the definition for this is this is a managed no sql database service the key features uh, that this provide is millisecond read or write this is serverless and built in replication so the use case here is you can do gaming or iot backend so here is the 14th one that is amazon ebs so the definition for this is this is a block storage for ec2 instances then the key features of this amazon ebs is this is persistent this helps you in taking snapshot and this will help you in encryption so the use cases here is you can attach a volumes to the virtual machines here is the 15th service that is AWS auto scaling. So the definition here is automatically adjust the capacity. So the key features here are that is dynamic scaling, cost optimization, policy based actions and the use cases match the traffic demand. Here is the 16th service that is AWS CloudWatch. So here is the definition that is monitoring and observability. So then the key features are metrics logs and alarms the use case is here you can track the usage and performance here is the 17th service that is aws code pipeline so the definition here is this is a ci or cd automation service so the key features are automated workflow integrates with code build and version control so the use case here is you can deploy the updated code so here is the 18th service that is AWS code build. The definition here is you can build and test code at scale. The key features are this is fully managed, continuous integration, custom built environments. The use case here is you can automate the software builds here. Here is the 19th service that is AWS code deploy. The definition is here that is automated application deployment so the key features are this will support ec2 and lambda you can roll back the service and this is in place and blue or green so then you can uh, use this for pushing a new code to servers here is the 20th service that is aws eks the definition is managed kubernetes service and the key features are this is scalable cluster this is secure and integrated with vpc so the use case here is you can run containerized workloads here is the 21st aws service that is aws ecs so here is the definition this is a managed container authorization the key features are this is fargate support then it has task definitions cluster management and the use cases here is you can run the docker containers easily so here is the 22nd service that is aws fargate so here is the definition this is a serverless compute for containers key features are this is a no server management you can pay per use and integrate with ECS or EKS. The use case here is you can simplify the container ops. Here is the 23rd service that is AWS Cloud Trail. Here is the definition. You can track the user activity and API calls using this service. The key features are you can audit log, security analysis, and you can do the complaints. So then, uh, the use case here is you can detect the suspicious behavior here. Here is the 24th service that is AWS config. The definition is you can track AWS research configurations and the key features are 
snapshots, compliance rules and change tracking. The use case here is you can do the resource auditing and monitoring. Here is the 25th service that is AWS KMS. So the definition is manage encryption key securely and the key features here is key rotation, audit logs and AWS integrated. The use case here is encrypt S3, EBS and etc. So here is the 26th service that is AWS Secrets Manager. So the definition here is you can securely store and retrieve the secrets here. So key features are you can rotate the secrets, audit logs and integrate with IAM. So the use case here is you can store the DB credentials. So the 27th service is Amazon Redshift. The definition is this is a managed data warehouse service. The key features are massive parallel processing. This is scalable and it is a BI tool integration. So then the use case here is uh, you can do analytics and reporting. Here is the 28th service that is AWS Glue. And the definition here is that is serverless data integration service. And the key feature is it is ETL, data catalog and job scheduling. So the use case here is you can transform and move the data. Here is the 29th service that is Amazon EMR. So here is the definition. This is a managed Hadoop or Spark clusters. The key features are this is scalable, custom AMIs and it is a low cost. The use case is you can use it for big data processing. Here is the 30th service that is Amazon Kinesis. The definition here is this is a real time data streaming service. The key features are it has ingest and process streams. It is durable and it can have like multiple consumers. The use case here is you can log analytics and IoT data. Here is the 31st service. This is AWS WAF. We have the definition here that is web application firewall. So the key features here is you can block the SQL or XSS and uh, you can set the rule engine lay and you will have a layer 7 protection and the use case here is you can secure the websites and APIs. Here is the 32nd service that is AWS Shield. So the definition here is you will get a DDoS protection service and here is the key features that is automatic mitigation integrated with CloudFront and there will be a 24 by 7 response team. The use case here is you can protect against the attackers. Here is the 33rd service that is AWS Direct Connect. The definition is you, this is used for a dedicated network connected to AWS. The key features are low latency, high bandwidth and this is secure. The, so the use cases are this is a reliable hybrid network. This is the 34th service of AWS Snowball and the definition is physical data transfer device. The key features are this is a petabyte scale. This will have a secure encryption and then you will have edge compute support and the use cases are you can migrate a large data sets. Here is the 35th service that is Amazon Cloud Search. The definition is this is a managed search service. The key features are full text search, custom ranking and it is scalable. The use cases are you can add search to the apps. Here is the 36th service that is Amazon Elastic Catch and the definition is in memory catch for databases and the key features are this will support Redis, Memcached and it is a low latency and auto failover. The use case is to speed up the database queries. Here is the 37th service that is Amazon MQ. The definition is this is a managed message broker service and the key features are this supports AMQP or MQTT and it, this has a MQ backend. Uh, this has a active MQ backend and it, it is it has high availability and then the use cases you can modernize the legal C apps. Here is the 38th service that is AWS AppSync. 
the definition is this is a managed graphql service and the key features are real time data client sync multiple data sources the use case here is you can build scalable mobile or web apps so here is the 39th service we are uh, towards the end we just have one more service left and this is the 39th one the 39th service is aws step functions that this is a serverless or structured for workflows and the key features are visual workflows error handling and retry logic the use case is you can automate the business processes here so we are at the end this is the last service this is amazon light sale the definition is this is a easy virtual service for beginners and the key features are this has fixed pricing pre-configured apps simple ui the use case here is you can launch the simple websites quickly so we have completed all the 40 services here i have given all the answers definitions key features and the use cases in a short manner because you might remember things so if you are preparing for the exams all the best and i think this video was very useful for you and if you found this video helpful you need to like share and subscribe and i will meet you in the next video until then take care and bye